again welcome guys for another episode of my after effects tutorial video this is randy from ranch graphics and today i am very excited to share it with you guys a cinematic title animation using a free third party plugin called saver from video copilot i really love using this plugin inside after effects and you can download it for free in the link given below and also don't forget to download the project file below so you can follow along with me okay I have a companion dog named Sashi here, so I come up with an idea of using her name for this tutorial. So without further ado, let's take a closer look of what we are gonna be creating. Go to composition, create a new composition, and I will name it text 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second, and 5 seconds duration. Click OK and grab my text tool, and I will type snow dog. I will highlight this dog and change the font size to 150. I will change the height of the text, probably 250. And I'm using copper plate gothic. You can use whatever font you want. I will go to windows, check the align tool and I will align it to the center. I will highlight this layer and make it a bit closer. Again center it. And go to one second. Press C on the position of my keyboard. Of all the switches in here. Make it a 3D layer. Close it and press P again on your keyboard. Create a keyframe. Go to the beginning of your timeline and make this negative 2800. It has to be negative so that it will be out of your canvas. And go your playhead to about 2 seconds. And change this to 488. Close this one and right click your mouse. Precompose it. Name it type 001. Move all the attributes and click OK. I will right away duplicate it and I will rename it Bevel. Right click my mouse and precompose it and I will name it Bevel Profile. Double click it, open it up, highlight it, go to layer, layer styles, and inner glow. Open inner glow, make the blending mode normal and change the color to black change this softer to precise and the size probably 20 close it and go to layer add new adjustment layer and go to effects and preset go to channel and solid composite and change this to black and go back to effects and preset blur fast box blur i want the blur radius to be one iterations is one and then i will check the repeat edge pixels and then go back to text and open the project panel duplicate the type 001 i will right click my mouse and rename it instead of 002 i will just add saver on it Go to composition and I will create a new composition and I will name it saver. And I will click OK. I will drop down this type saver. And I will open it up. Press U. Go my play to about one second. Disable the keyframes. And I will highlight this layer. Go to effects and preset and saver. I will change the customized core to text and change from none to no dog. I will change the glow intensity to 30%. Change the glow spread to 0.6. 
and the core size 1.2. Make a keyframe on the start offset and on the mask evolution. The end offset make it zero. And then go to about maybe two seconds. Make this 10%. Then make and then create a keyframe on the end offset and move your player to about four seconds. Change this to ten percent, and then this one here, change it to three sixty degrees, and highlight this one, and open glow settings, and change the glow intensity to to two, glow three intensity to one, and glow four intensity to one. And duplicate this layer, change the color to orange, and I want this playhead to about 4 seconds and change this to negative 1. All you have to do is to highlight this one, toggle the switches here, and make the blending mode add. So now we will go on the text and go to the project panel, open your assets and image and drop down that metal texture in here. Right click your mouse and pre-compose it right away. I will name it texture. Move all the attributes and click OK. I will highlight the texture layer and go to effects and preset go to a stylized cc glass I will open the surface change this to bevel profile go again to effects and preset and go to channel and set math change the math here to type 001 so now it's cut right so all i have to do is to change the height to 100 percent go to color correction because it's too dark so i will just lighten it up a bit And I will go back to CC glass and change this softness to about 10. And then close this ones. A new composition. And I will name it animation 1. And I will click OK. Go to the project panel. Move this one out of the texture folder. And I will drop down the saber composition and also my text i will highlight the saber and toggle the switches in here i will make it add and then press p for the position and toggle the switches here again make it a 3d layer and i will close it i will press p again i will go to one second make a keyframe and go to the beginning and change this to negative 2800 and go to about 2 seconds and change this to 488 so now when we play this one let's see I will go back to my text 001 I will open it up and I will just turn this motion blur and I think I need to rename this animation I need to put A on it so now I'll go to my project panel and create a new folder and I will name it scene 1 I will highlight these compositions and put it to my scene one folder and close these ones and also this animation one I want it to be in the scene one folder and then I will create another folder to create a scene two 
and then highlight all these compositions duplicate it and move it to my scene to folder first i will delete these ones because these are from the animation one i will close the scene one open the scene two and highlight it double click it to open it up i'm gonna go right away to my text type 2 i will change it to the name sashi disable the blur and the 3d i will change the font size to 250 and the font height i will change it to 250 align it enter and i will enable the 3d layer again and the motion blur click p on your keyboard for the position make a keyframe go back your play it to the beginning and make it negative 2800 and move your play it to about two seconds and change the z position to 488 turn on the motion blur open the bevel profile and change this bevel here I will hold and click Alt on my keyboard and drop down my type 002 and change the bevel here changes the text here and I will go to text 2 open it up and change this texture to make it sure I wanted to change texture too and I will highlight the bevel profile and I will change the bevel profile from 1 to 2 I will also change the type 001 and change it with type 002 so now I will open Saber 2 and highlight this one here I think I have to clear it just highlight this one and delete the effects on it you have to highlight it and disable the layer 3d layer and change the text here to Sashi the size font probably is 250 and the size height is 250 highlight the text layer and make it at the center then enable the 3d layer and then go to effects and preset go to video copilot and saver change the glow intensity to 30 percent glow spread is 0.6 core size is 1.2 change the customized core to text layer change none to sashi put your playhead at the beginning and create a keyframe on the start offset and in the mask evolution and make this end offset to zero go to one second make the start offset to 10 percent and make a keyframe on the end offset go to four seconds i guess make the end offset 10 and then go to glow open it up and change the glow to intensity to 2 glow intensity 3 to 1 and glow 4 intensity to 1 and there you can see now here duplicate this one and change color of this to orange and make this stay at the 4 second and change this to negative 1 highlight this and make this mask evolution to 360 and also toggle the switches here and make the blending mode add so if we will play this one now go to animation and click your keyboard alt and hold it go to your project panel and highlight the saber change the saber one to saber two 
also highlight the text and drop and change the text too i will also open the saber highlight this saber click alt and hold on my keyboard and change the type saber to the type saber too so now as we can see here it's already changed right i will go to composition and create new composition i will name it final animation Nineteen twenty by ten eighty p thirty frames per second and I will change the duration to ten seconds and I will click OK. I will go to the project panel and drop down the animation one and also drop down the animation two on my timeline. Highlight both of them and right click my mouse keyframe assistant and sequence layers and i will click ok i will go to my project panel and open the folder assets open the footage and drop these two footage in here on my timeline i will make this on top of the pixels and then at the bottom i will click t for the opacity i will make this one 50% I will close it and highlight these two again and change the blending mode to add so let's try to play it I will just adjust the Articles. I think this is good enough. There you go. So now I will go to image folder and drop down my background and change the blending mode of this to add. I just want the background darken a bit so highlight the background go to effects and preset color correction and curves I will just drag it down a bit to make it darker I think that's good enough so if we will play it again so guys we are done with our tutorial and I hope that you enjoy and learn something on it and don't forget guys to subscribe in order to support my channel and thank you for subscribing for those people who are new in this channel please subscribe like comment if you have opinions questions and suggestions and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated to all the videos that I'm gonna be uploading in my channel and my thoughts for today is that our learning opportunity over time is endless all you have to do is to make the most of it. Thank you guys for watching and see you on my next video. God bless.